I just got one question. How do y'all do that? I mean, how do you take happily ever and actually get to the after? How do y'all create a stable foundation that lasts long enough to hang holiday lights from the rafters? How do y'all fill y'all home with love and family dinners and movie nights and your children's laughter? How do y'all find that one-way trip you never want to come back from? No layovers, no transfers, no questions, just answers. I'm curious, so I'm just asking. How do y'all do that? How do you find the one that wants to be by your side? And how do you decide that this is the one that wants to join you for the ride? And this is the one in which you can confide. See, I tried. <laughs> I tried. And I'm tired. Trying to get over the set fact that there's so much time I'll never be able to get back. Every time I think I'm taking a step forward in something great, I end up taking multiple steps back. It's dudes out here living the dream with kids and a queen and <laughs> I can't even get a text back. They make it sound like it's a nightmare. They got a bond, a union, an empire, a beautiful thing right there. They fighting against being faithful to one woman and living life as a king. Well fam, if you gonna fight against something like that, okay cool, make the fight fair. Tell me what's out here that's better. Everything that glitters ain't gold. I've been told, and that's true, but when it gets cold, you're going to need you a sweater. So how do you stay for worse when people only want to be around for the better? I'm asking all my committed couples, the long-lasting lovers, my cohabitating sisters and brothers connected in spirit, hearing me while under them covers, those traveling the world with significant others forever joined to one another. How do y'all do that? How do you find somebody who can act right? Who wants to build you up and help your money stack right. Holds you close. Never wants to see you pack light. Somebody who won't have you out here looking crazy. <laughs> Using you while they're raising somebody else's baby. they rather love you. Motivate you. They won't let you be lazy. Everything won't be easy. But whenever that happens to be a problem. The issue should never be you versus them. It should be both of you. Versus the way to solve it. How do y'all do that? How do you get to that? How do you find food for your soul? Fuel for your jetpack? And I get it. Being single is cool. I mean, getting to know you and being yourself is fine. You ain't got to check in with nobody and it's a little bit cheaper when you dine. You got options and opportunities out here. The world moves on your time. You, and don't worry about them other obligations. No one needs to know what's on your mind. It's just you. But when you start to look around and see these kingdoms being claimed, you start to realize that it's really just you. You can go back and forth to them frivolous scenarios. You can't have one night stands for the rest of your life, though. At some point, them last minute late night calls, they're not going to go through because they want something solid. And now they're elsewhere making time for someone else because you didn't appreciate when they just wanted you. So how do y'all do that? <laughs> I mean, how do you take happily ever and actually get to the after? How do you create a stable foundation that lasts long enough to hang holiday lights from the rafters? How do y'all fill y'all home with love and family dinners, movie nights, and your children's laughter? How do y'all find that one-way trip that you never want to come back from? No layovers, no transfers, no questions, just answers. I'm curious, so I'm just asking. How do y'all do that?